what's going on y'all listen i know i have been kind of out of the loop um but i will get back to doing one video a day for those of you that do not for those of you that do not know my name is donnell mouse and thanks for coming to my channel in this video we're going to talk about the soldier's blue book okay trade out pamphlet 600-4 what i need you guys to understand is that when you arrive to basic training you are going to receive the soldier's blue book which is this book right here and it should be uh, uh, fairly new. Um, this one that I have before you is dated for June, 2017, but I think the new one is November, 2020. And as the new regulations such as hair regulations and stuff continue to change throughout the army and also uniforms, you can expect to see um, diff uh, a newer version with the, the updates to regulation. Now, understand that the the Soldier's Blue Book is a guide for all initial entry training soldiers who enter our Army profession. It provides an introduction to being a soldier and trusted Army professional. Okay, so throughout the Blue Book, soldiers will read and learn about Army ethics and the values, the culture, the history, organizations, and the training that you will receive throughout basic training. It provides assistance with pay issues, leave, thrift savings plan and organizations that will be available to assist your families. Okay, so the Soldier's Blue Book is an inspectable item and will be carried with you at all times. Understand that uh, each installation will be dictated upon um, what the criteria is for inspectable items such as the Blue Book or having you know certain items on you at all times. But the Blue Book will be, the Blue Book and your skill level one book Okay, your skill level one book um, are the two books that you will receive in reception once uh, before you go and get shipped off to basic training. Understand that there are about uh, maybe 10 or so chapters. I just want to go over the ones that I think that while you're in reception or if you can try to buy this book, they do sell it on Amazon. Um, uh, they do sell it on Amazon. They sell it on Barnes and Noble. Um, you can buy this, uh, the, 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 the blue book, um, and make sure it's an updated version before you just, you know, buy a book, or you can go online and just, you know, look at it for free and just, you know, download it to your iBooks on your, your, your iOS or whatever phone you may have. These pages right here that I'm, that I'm, you know, passing through are just the introduction, as you can see, you know, the soldier's information, you got your battle buddy is your sexual harassment assault, right? But what do I want to talk about in this video as far as the blue book that I think that as soon as you get it, you need to start reading the chapters. Now, understand that all of the information in the blue book is essential. You know, at some point in your life, knowing the information in this blue book, understand that I've been in the military for 10 years and I still reference the blue book. I still reference my skill level one book for things such as land nav, okay, so things such as uniform such as you know any regulations anything this blue book is a quick guide that you can go to um throughout your time in basic training and throughout the course of being in the military so chapter one is going to simply cover the army you know why we are the army and you know what it stands for the the, the oath of enlistment and just a kind of background and uh history on the army chapter two is going to cover the army as a profession okay what it means to be a soldier why is knowing your worth and your purpose every day that you wake up or put on a uniform what what are you committing to and and what that commitment means is all covered in chapter two okay uh chapter three is everything dealing with the reception battalion and i have a video on that um, explaining the first three days of reception, but that's going to cover the battle buddy system, learning the army values, and all of the, the classes that you're going to take, such as suicide prevention, excuse me, and also the soldiers creed and the warrior ethos. You know, I did a video on the things that you should learn prior to going to basic training, and that video talks about learning the soldiers creed, your warrior ethos, your general orders, knowing the army song, and knowing rank structure. I will do another video breaking down rank structure to make it so that you know anyone can recognize rank you know getting off the bus to reception so that way you're not finding yourself in an awkward position because you called a drill sergeant a ma'am or a sir when you're supposed to call them a drill sergeant right or you know standing at parade rest for an officer we'll, we'll go over things like that in another video 
chapter four is going over BCT, um, AIT, OSU, OSU, and which would be your one station unit training and um, what to expect, you know, the type of training, your safe, uh, the safe and secure environment, which means, you know, all the females will sleep in the female base, all the males sleep in the male base, making sure that, uh, you know, you're not entering into uh, any, any area that you're not supposed to be entering to. And that's what the safe and secure environment is, you know, having, you know, fire extinguishers in the base. So they're gonna, you need to read all of that stuff. And it also talks about the drill sergeants, what it, what it means in the process for uh, being a soldier. It's going over military time. Understand that those things are important because whenever you're talking to a drill sergeant, right? They're going to go over these things, but understand that we're, you know, those drill sergeants kind of are expecting you to take initiative to learn such things, such as military time. You're like, hey, drill sergeant, I have an appointment at two o'clock. They're going to look at you and say, what? You know, and then, you know, the correct way is, you know, excuse me, drill sergeant, you know, just let you know that I have an appointment at 1400, you know, military time, military jargon, you know, not calling in a bed. I'm, you know, that person's on bed rest. No, they're in the bay and they're on bed rest, you know, um, they're in the bunk sleep because they're on quarters or whatever the case may be, you know, learn the military jargon, you know, OCPs when you're talking about your uniforms, um, you know, things of that sort. Okay. They talk about the, you know, B BCT as a whole, um, and kind of breaking down your daily schedule. And I have a video on that as well. But what do I think is important? Okay, when you get this blue book, I need you guys to look at chapter five, personal appearance and uniforms. Why? Because that chapter is going to cover how the wear and appearance of uniform. When you get, when you go to CIF and you're issued your OCPs, your boots, they're going to, that the blue book is going to cover how your boots are supposed to be worn okay with the with the with the bootlaces tucked in right your your bootlaces tied tight but not so tight that it's cutting off circulation okay but your uniforms you know how do you wear the pc patrol cap how do you wear your, your ocp top how do you wear your your ocp bottoms and i'll go over video or i'll go over a video with that but understand that when you get this blue book i just want you guys to read over chapter five okay and 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 look at the personal appearance you know, chapter 5-1 all the way through 5-4, awards and decorations are kind of more so of your dress, your army, um, your your green, your your uh, your, your um, ASUs, but they're, they're switching to the greens now. So like I said, when you get your blue book, it will be more updated with more uh, relevant information in it, but you need to kind of just, you know, be aware because once you get your uniforms back around like week five, week six, you know, you're going to have to start putting on your awards, your nameplate and stuff like that. So if you're already familiar, again, what are the four P's? Proper preparation prevents poor performance. So if I'm already reading up on how to place the awards on my uniform, when I get it, not, not trying to be a know-it-all, but I'm kind of, when drill sergeant is giving me a class on how to put this stuff on my uniform, I'm referencing it to what I've already studied myself. That way I'm gaining a better understanding of it um, whenever I'm, I go to actually do the hands-on portion, right? So chapter five, all right, chapter uh, seven, dealing with physical readiness and the APFU, everything with that. And we're going to look at those, uh, matter of fact, let's just go to it real quick. Chapter seven when it talks about physical readiness. And this is what it's gonna talk about. Okay, you know, as a soldier, you are required to maintain a high level of personal readiness and resilience. And, you know, again, they're talking to you about the uniform, the components, they're, they're giving you pictures. You, you see what I'm saying? So this is how you wear your uniforms. Again, look at this stuff because there's no, if, if you know, if I worked in reception as a drill sergeant and I handed out the blue book, and I told, you know, the, the trainees or whatever to, to look at this or to look at that. This is the APFT or the APFT um, standards for male and female. Again, it should be updated with the ACFT information, the Army Combat Fitness Test Uniform or Fitness Test um, Requirements for Passing. So you will get an updated version of this so you can look at what do I need to pass, okay? Again, it's going to break down every single aspect of the 
uh, ACFT, and it may still have the APFT because that is still being used um, throughout the Army for schools and stuff like that. So understand that that is still uh, probably going to be in the Blue Book that you receive, all right? Now we, we talked about uh, chapter five and chapter seven. Again, the last thing that I feel like you guys should really, really harp on would be chapter nine, when it's talking about discipline. Discipline, you need to read this, all right? There are three basic rules you should follow. Follow army regulations in the UCMJ, take responsibility for your own actions, set the example, do what is right, even when no one is watching. And this is all the stuff that I'm reading right, um, right here. Unit cohesion, bonding, and, and a spirit of teamwork. You know, I'm not going to assault your intelligence, but they're just highlighting some things that you should keep in mind. The Uniform Code of Military Justice. This is the actions that will be taken if you are, aren't um, in compliance with, you know, any Army regulation. You know, that you're not coming to a, boot, uh, 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 you know, a camp, a summer camp. You know, you, you understand that you're working and you're in the United States Army, all right? And if you anything that goes wrong, you could you know, be chaptered out or whatever the case may be. One, another thing that I feel like you guys need to read, um, just kind of throwing out some extra stuff is the equal opportunity policy. And this has to deal with you know, ensuring that the Army is um, concentrated, has a concentrated effort to maximize human potential and to ensure fair treatment for all persons based solely on merit, fitness, and capability in support of readiness. To break that down to, to the lowest level, whenever you're reading the EO policy, understand that you, no one should be discriminated based upon gender, race, religion, where you're from, if you're getting asked questions and so on, and you know someone makes a comment and it's you know another trainee makes a comment like, oh, you, you're from the hood or some shit like that. Like, you know, you need to understand that the army has a zero tolerance for, for that. So if you have a mindset or you grew up, you know, talking about someone or a passing judgment, should I say, on someone based on where they live, where they're from, what they eat, how they walk, how they talk, whatever the case may be, there's a zero tolerance for that in the United States army or any organization for that matter. So you need to be up on game and kind of get, an, you will get classes on this within your first, you know, 48 hours of basic training. But again, if you're already reading up on this information, whenever you get the in-depth class, you can kind of take notes when you're reading in the blue book. And then when the classes are, are being had with the drill sergeants, when they ask, do anybody have any questions? You can ask, you can ask your questions. And, and you know, drill sergeants love when trainees ask questions. So any question that you have about the blue book, you know, it don't even have to be a class on it. Any question that you have regarding to this blue book, and it talks about eating and everything, ask the drill sergeants. You know, it talks about drinking water, you know, and that's that's key, especially if you're going to basic training during the summer months. You need to read the blue book. They're talking about how to stay hydrated. OK, whenever you go to use the restroom and your 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 urine is a certain color, that means that either you're hydrated or you're dehydrated and you need to drink more water. You know, if, if your your urine is dark brown or this color, you need to seek medical aid. And these are the things that we need to be looking for while in basic training. When you're eating certain foods, it talks about, you know, when you go into the defect, they'll have certain signs that are green that let you know that, hey, this has, you know, this is good on for for energy. You know, it talks about vegetables, you know, whole grains and starches. It talks about fruits. You know, you need to always put fruits on your plate when you go to the defect. Don't just skip it, you know, get salad, get, you know, eat potatoes, eat, get the fish. You know, you have to balance your plate. And it talks about this having fruit, grains, vegetables, and protein, you know, when you go to the defect. Okay. So this this book is a great, you know, addition to the United States Army as a whole. So I just wanted to break this down for you guys. Again, you guys need to understand everything in this book is vital to your success throughout basic training. On June 13th, I will be going live on YouTube doing a military ask me anything. You guys will see my face. It wouldn't be like this. You, I will have my face 
um, shown to you guys. You ask me questions, I answer them. And I can't wait to see you guys. Do me a favor and like this video. Tell me what's something that you're looking forward to experiencing in basic training, whether it be a travel tower, the rock marches, meeting new people. Um, what, what do you plan on changing about yourself while you're at basic training? And what training event are you looking forward to the most? I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.